If you want to know the best Netflix original movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2019. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Triple Frontier, 2019. Nothing. A couple of bags. He's gone. With the money. Triple Frontier is an action-adventure film directed by J.C. Chander and stars Ben Affleck, Oscar Isaac, Charlie Hunnam, Garrett Hedlund, and Pedro Pascal. Led by an incredible cast of actors, breathtaking tension, and a perfect mixture of heist movie and drug cartel drama, Triple Frontier is the journey of military and bounty hunter friends who team up to steal the ultimate treasure waiting to be taken in the villa of a dangerous drug kingpin. But when the plan goes to hell, their friendship is put to the test like never before. Concentrate. Oh, we just getting rich. How much time we got? Eight, Eight minutes. minutes. Miller, enough of that over there. We gotta start getting this shit down to the van. Yo, wow, we got on. this. Number nine. Extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile. 2019. In fact, I find it absurd to ask for mercy for something that I did not do. Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile is a 2019 biographical crime thriller. Directed by Joe Berlinger and stars Zac Efron, Lily Collins, Kaya Skoladario, and John Malkovich. The movie tells the story of the serial killer Ted Bundy, who committed several heinous crimes against women and is mainly focused on his longtime girlfriend, Liz, whose life turns upside down when the love of her life gets arrested. You'd have made a good lawyer. I would have loved to have you practice in front of me. But you went a different way, partner. It has been a tragedy for this court to see the total waste of humanity that we have experienced here. Number eight. Always Be My Maybe, 2019. Uh, I love your outfit. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Tom Ford made it custom for me. Wow. Always Be My Maybe is a 2019 romantic comedy film directed by Nanachka Khan and stars Ali Wan and Randall Park. When their teenage romance ends badly, childhood sweethearts Sasha and Marcus vow never to talk to each other again. However, 15 years after their teenage fling, Sasha, now a successful chef, returns to her hometown to open up a restaurant. When the two finally reconnect, old sparks fly as they realize they are falling for each other all over again. Now I know what it feels like to be completely starstruck. The only stars that matter are the ones you look at when you dream. <laughs> Thank you. Number seven. Dolomite is my name, 2019. Brothers love all that kung fu and karate. Do you know karate? No, but I'm a fast learner. I can learn how to chop me a mother. Dolomite is my name is a 2019 biographical comedy film directed by Craig Brewer and stars Eddie Murphy, Divine Joy Randolph, Keegan-Michael Kay and Mike Epps. The story portrays real-life legend Rudy Ray Moore, a comedy and rap pioneer who proved naysayers wrong when his alter ego, Dolomite, became a 1970s black exploitation phenomenon. The movie received positive reviews from critics, with praise for Murphy's comeback performance as well as its screenplay, costumes, and sense of humor. It's Whitey's fault. The mayor's corrupt and there's an exorcism. God damn it. An exorcism? Yeah, you know all that whole oh, mother in hell. Um, I, I don't know how that fits into our urban uh, motif. Number six. El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, 2019. Think you'll be heading to Mexico? No, not Mexico. Right on, even better. Leave it near the border. Hide it, kind of, but yo, don't hide it so good the cops can't find it. El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, is a 2019 neo-western crime thriller film written and directed by Vince Gilligan and stars Aaron Paul, Jesse Plemons, Kristen Ritter, and Jonathan Banks. The movie serves as an epilogue to the Breaking Bad TV series and follows the life of Jesse Pinkman as he escapes from captivity and tries to run from his past. 
Jesse must race against the clock, evade capture, save some money, and battle the demons of his past before he can start anew. You're skinny. Why are you doing all this? Dude, you're my hero and shit. Number five. I Lost My Body, 2019. I Lost My Body is a French animated film directed by Jeremy Clapin. Not only defined by some of the most beautiful animations you will witness today, but also from pure and indescribable uniqueness, I Lost My Body is the exceptional journey of a severed hand that manages to escape a laboratory and is now on its mission to find its body again. It's a reunion with the lost results in a deeply affecting and abstract experience. Number four, The Two Popes, 2019. I come into this without knowing that there is at least a possibility that you might be chosen. No. The Two Popes is a 2019 biographical drama film directed by Fernando Moraes and stars Anthony Hopkins and Jonathan Price. This religious drama will surprise any audience by showing that its topic is way more affecting than one might think. Behind the walls of the Vatican State, Pope Benedict and future Pope Francis must find a common ground to lead the Catholic Church. On the way, the story offers deep character work, a brilliant cast, and a truly absorbing drama. Christ did not come down from the cross. Ah, God always grants you the right words. No, oh, no, no. A Pope must go on forever, be the personification of the crucified Christ. If you do this, you will damage the papacy forever. Yeah. Number three, Klaus, 2019. He sees everything, you know, every mischief, prank, and dirty deed. He keeps a list. Klaus is a 2019 Spanish animated Christmas comedy film written and directed by Sergio Pablos. When Jesper distinguishes himself as the Postal Academy's worst student, he is stationed on a frozen island above the Arctic Circle, where the feuding locals hardly exchange words, let alone letters. He is about to quit when he finds an ally in local teacher Alva and discovers Klaus, a mysterious carpenter who lives alone in a cabin packed with handmade toys. Trust me. You still want to throw that snowball? I didn't think so. Number two. Marriage Story, 2019. Do not compare me to my father. I didn't compare you to him. I said you were acting like him. You're exactly like your mother. Everything you're complaining about her, you're doing. The marriage of Charlie and Nicole is close to breakup, and it is painful to watch them part ways. Marriage Story is a 2019 comedy drama film written, directed, and produced by Noah Baumbach and stars Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson. Both are not bad people by character, but they both hold their values upright. The irony is that both of them are correct. They initially agreed the divorce to be amicable, but it gets ugly when the devilish lawyers get involved. And the dad isn't there. He didn't even do the fucking. God is in heaven. God is the Father, and God didn't show up. So you have to be perfect, and Charlie can be a fuck-up, and it doesn't matter. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Honey, honey, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, don't look right now, but there's a really scary man mm -hmm. with an eye patch mm -hmm. who's just staring right at us. They said don't you look, and you can't not do patch it. eye patch and scary, I'm gonna look. Okay. I'm sorry, it's physically impossible Listen. not to. All right. Perfect for slicing through flesh, but it sucks at Stop it. There you go. Let's see what it can do. Here we go. And here. Boom. There you go. I'm right here. I'm right here. You hurt? I don't think so. Okay, well, <laughs> doesn't seem to be any scratches or bruises. Oh, Ray, she needs a doctor. I know what I'm doing. Right. Number one. 
The Irishman 2019. I never waited for anyone who was late more than 10 minutes in my life. Frank Sheeran is a man with a lot on his mind. The 2019 biographical crime film stars Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci. It follows Frank as he remembers his years working for the Buffalino crime family. Now older, the World War II veteran is once again examining his most prolific successes and his involvement in the disappearance of his good friend Jimmy Hoffa, the former president of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, who mysteriously vanished in late July 1975. Well, I mean, I heard, I heard you had an altercation in the camp, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you people. That's what you said, right, Jim? You people. Am well, I beneath you? Definitely. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.